very tired, so uh, I might just crash. Th you know, it's interesting. Uh, we, we just did a, a story in the last hour about um, a teenage girl back in when Pope uh, John Paul II came to Madison Square Garden and how that moment meeting the Pope really uh, changed the course of her life. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, you know, it'll be interesting to see. Obviously, you won't know this at, at this point, but, but whether this has some sort of an impact on you moving forward. Mm -hmm. Do you think it will? I think it will. I think it's really an indelible memory that I'm going to hold forever. I want to be a civil engineer when I'm older, and Pope Francis is really concerned about the environment, and that's something that I'm concerned about as well. And I hope that I can one day change how buildings are created and make them more friendly for the environment. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. Did you get to tell the Pope that? No, but <laughs> 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 something I'm always going to remember. Yeah. Well, Veronica, Kara, Nicholas, thank you so much. Really, it's just awesome. Awesome to meet you. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank, a, you. Yeah, thank you. Such a pleasure. Thank you. Very All right, cool. Much. Thank you. Thanks, thanks. And please give my best to your dad. Thank you. All right. Um, the qualities that, that set Pope Francis apart from popes who came before him are, are the real thing. His modest ways, the lack of pretension, are, were well known long before he reached the Vatican. We'll take a look at his history ahead.